I am Anil Kumar and here we will discuss what does it mean when we say find the angle in radians or solve the equation. So whenever we have an equation as given here, we are basically finding the angle which will make the trigonometric ratio equal to the value given to us. So that is what it really means. So we will discuss in this video how to find that angle in radians in the given domain. So that is the exercise which we are going to do now. The question here is solve the following in the domain 0 to 2 pi. So when we are given 0 to 2 pi these are in radians. So we have to write answer in radians. Now what is the answer? The value of theta. So we are trying to find the value of theta. What is the value of theta which will make this equation true and that value should be when theta is between 0 to 2 pi. right? So that means one circle counterclockwise. That is what it means. right? Now you should remember that every trigonometric ratio is positive in two quadrants. right? So that is kind of very important to understand. So let's begin and we'll follow all these steps to answer these questions. First one is cos theta equals to minus square root 2 over 2. Now cosine function is when is it negative? Um, well, we know our rule. All are positive here in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan and cos in 3 and 4 respectively. So we are looking for negative values. That means that means we should be in quadrant 2 or 3. When I say we should be, it means the terminal arm should be in quadrant 2 or 3. Perfect. Right. So the two solutions we are looking for are these. So that is the first answer and this is the second answer. Now how do we get these answers? So method here is you get them indirectly. First you get the acute angle. So we will call that acute angle as beta. right? So first step is find the acute angle and then we know this angle is beta so that means these angles are beta and using beta we will get the principal angle. So that is the concept. Okay, so I will write down this equation as cos of beta equals to in quadrant 1 all are positive. So we will write square root 2 over 2, right? Now we know angle beta is equals to pi by 4 for cosine to be square root 2 over 2, right? You could get this answer using your calculator or special triangles either way, right? Sometimes we are working with special triangles to get exact values of things like that. So this is pi by, I mean pi by 4, where each side is square root 2 and hypotenuse is 2, right? So we know that beta is pi by 4. But what is the angle theta? The principal angle. So we have two possible solutions here. The first one is, is in quadrant 2, which will be pi minus pi by 4 and the second will be pi plus pi by 4. You get the idea, right? So when you add them at 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get 3 pi by 4 as one answer and 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 pi by 4 as the other answer. So these are the two solutions for the given equation and these are all the solutions in the given domain. So that is how we are going to answer these questions, right? At present, I think you have understood the method. You can pause the video and solve the other two. Let's go through these steps once again. Sine negative. So we are looking for sine negative. That means as per our rule, we should be in quadrant 3 and 4, right? Since, you know, all are positive here. Sine is positive here. Tan is positive in 3, cosine in 4, right? So as we did, we will do, we will really find the acute angle beta equals to square root 3 over 2 and we know angle beta which will give us this value from our special triangles is what? So let me again sketch a special triangle here which will help us to find the answer. So this is pi by 3, 1, 2, square root 3 is what we have. Square root 3 over 2 means we are looking for that angle, right? Opposite over, that means opposite over hypotenuse, is that okay? So from the angle pi by 3 it is opposite. So beta is pi by 3. Since we have two solutions and these are in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4, we are looking for principal angle which is 
pi plus this angle or 2 pi minus that angle correct so we have two solutions so we say theta equals to pi plus pi by 3 or it is 2 pi minus pi by 3 so these are the two solutions so when you add them up 3 plus 1 is 4 4 pi by 3 is the first solution 6 minus 1 is 5 so 5 pi by 3 is the other solution that is how you get your solution correct now let's do the one in tan right tan theta is minus 1.25 now in this case you cannot use special triangles we'll use calculator okay so that's the variety now you know the rule the rule is kind of you could write cast rule or all students take calculus all silver teacup whatever you like cosine oh we are now wanting negative value for tan tan is negative in these two quadrants quadrant two and three and here we're looking for a solution kind of like this so two solutions now it's good idea to find the acute angle let us say that the acute angle is beta so I'll draw one here and say that is my acute angle beta so we'll first solve for tan beta equals to 1.25 acute angle will always give us positive value is that okay so it'll be tan inverse of 1.25 use calculator put it in uh, mode which is radians so for me 4 always do that now shift tan inverse 1.25 equals to so we get one angle which is 0 0.896 so let me write 90 right so I just rounded it to one decimal two decimal places 0 0.90 so that is the acute angle but the principal angle which we are looking for is pi minus 0 0.9 or it is 2 pi minus 0 0.9 right so we will do that so we'll so do shift you can use 3.14 also uh, minus 0.9 equals to so one value is 2.24 okay so let me write 2.24 the other one is you can do 2 times 3.14 minus 0.9 right so you could do that also 5.38 so these are the two angles which you get and that is the answer right so your solution is theta equals to 2.24 or 5.38 these answers are in radians right now radians is default unit when you don't write any unit that will be the unit right in case you are writing in degrees you have to write degree remember that I hope these steps clearly tell you and you makes you understand what does it mean when we say solve an equation or find angle in radians. Thank you and all the best.